All right. Hey, everyone. The numbers are also in for Whisper Dunes and Palmetto Trace in Panama City Beach. I'm Craig Duran with the Duran Group over at Berkshire Hathaway Home Services. If you've been following any of these videos at all, you know that um, a lot of times in the past, I've kind of done all the updates and just batched dumped them all onto YouTube and the website and all those kinds of things. I'm, I'm doing this more in a series now. Uh, it's a little easier for me to get them out recording a couple a day versus trying to get 14 or 15 of these done all at one time. So you've probably seen, I've gone through the condo series in the last couple of days, uh, buildings like Calypso, Hidden Dunes, Ancelé, Treasure Island, Seychelles, Long Beach Majestic, uh, Grand Panama, Aqua, Splash, I think I got them all. I um, also just got done with Breakfast Point, the neighborhood in Panama City Beach. So today we're going to dig into Palmetto Trace and Whisper Dunes to see what's happening in those markets. Um, one thing I wanted to start with uh, right away is this chart that we've been keeping. We, we've gone back actually since before COVID trying to keep up with what's happening month to month for you. Um, one thing I found interesting in August, so let's start, let's go by each column for a second. Active means the number of units for sale or the number of homes for sale in the beach at any given point. We know in, in April, well, let's start in January. In January, we were 38%, uh, we had 38% fewer homes for sale than we did compared to the January of 2021, meaning we, we really, really were low supply, tight inventory, however you wanna say it. Um, buyers did not have a lot of choices for homes. It was hard to find something. Uh, we started seeing the market was starting to turn a little bit if you were really paying attention because in, by February, we had 31% fewer homes. Then in March, we had 22% fewer homes. The home store is filling up, so to speak. By April, we were flat. And then look at what's happened since then. May, we're 24% more homes for sale same time last year, then 45% more, then 47% more, and 53% more now in August. So the home store is filling up again. Buyers have more choices, basic supply and demand. The number of new listings coming up for sales slowed down a little bit. This is worth paying attention to. Uh, back in May, there were 53% more new homes coming up in that given month. Only 7% hit the market in August, but here's the big number to pay attention to. Um, the number of new contracts written and look at what's happened most of the year. January, there were 15% fewer contracts written, right? This is our demand number. So 15% fewer contracts written in January, 3% in February, 29% fewer in March, 2% up in April, but look, down 20%, down 27%, down 15% throughout the summer. Look at August. That's a huge move. 40% more new contracts written on homes than we saw uh, in the previous year. And last year was a really healthy sales market. So I know a lot of people, there's a lot of pessimism and negativity and a lot of questions about the real estate market, but look at that number right there. Last month, buyers purchased 40% more homes in Panama City Beach than they did this time last year. Um, and only, we were only off 4% in the number of actual sales happening, meaning we were pretty much flat after having been way, way down. Look at April, we were down 23%, then down 18%, then down 17%, down 42%. All those, that's the number of closings we've been down. August, we were pretty flat. And imagine what September and October are gonna look like, knowing that we just wrote 40% more new contracts over here, meaning those still have to close. So what's that sold, that sold column gonna look like in 30 or 45 days? Um, to dig into it a different way, you guys know I'm a big fan of this chart. The red line represents the number of units for sale in Panama City Beach at any given point. This is housing altogether. Uh, we have more um, supply again in August, but look at our months of inventory number down, uh, our number here. Uh, we actually improved, the market strengthened from 4.37 months to 3.65 months, meaning instead of theoretically taking four, over four months to sell something, we're now down to 3.6. Um, still on paper, a seller's market. A uh, part of this uh, is directly tied to that 40% more new contracts number. So um, a lot more buyer activity this month. Uh, if you break it down to pricing on homes between 400 and 750,000 in Panama City Beach, that's pushing the high end a little bit for Whisper Dunes and Palmetto Trace, but still apples to apples for the most part. Again, we see more supply coming up. But again, we improved slightly, 3.42 months of inventory, still healthy seller's market. If we look at Whisper Dunes specifically, look at that months of inventory number. 
0 0.40. Theoretically, you would put a house for sale in Whisper Dunes and it would close 0.4 months later, right? Half a month. That's how ha how fast uh, or how good the market is in Whisper Dunes. Palmetto Trace, similar story. 2.5 months of inventory, uh, not quite as hot looking at any one given month in, in, uh, in particular, but you get the idea. The overall market improved slightly to 3.65 months of inventory, meaning 100-ish days to sell a house. Whisper Dunes last month was sell was there was extremely hot. 0.4 months of inventory is as hot of a seller's market as you can get. And Palmetto Trace and I combined detached single family and the townhomes just for this video, uh, but still sitting at two and a half months of inventory, still a very good seller's market. So what does this tell you if you own real estate in Whisper Dunes or Palmetto Trace? Um, Pricing is there certainly is nothing in this data that's pulling pricing down. If you're thinking about selling anytime soon, it is still a very, very good market in both of those neighborhoods. If you're thinking about buying into those neighborhoods, you have to be aware of that also because you probably don't have quite the negotiating power that you would uh, in, at a different point. If you find a house that you like in those neighborhoods and you want to be there, uh, be prepared to write a pretty strong offer for it. Uh, it's still a seller's market in those places. Um, to look at what's closed in the month of August, um, we'll go Palmetto Trace first. Uh, just a couple homes, nothing in the townhome section yet closed. Uh, a 3-2 sold for $400,000 and a 3-2 sold for $450,000 in Palmetto Trace and Whisper Dunes. Um, a few different ones. Uh, we had a closing for... 545,000, um, go back to my list. Yeah, we worked on that one, um, just closed a couple of weeks ago. Uh, one of the ones in, on over on Sand Oak, one of the 3-2 attached units sold for 365, 593. Another 3-2 on Blue Sage closed at 550,000. Uh, two more units over on Sand Oak closed at 367, 500 and 389. So, in short, uh, the market is better, maybe not surprisingly, but the market has improved slightly in August from July, which is the first time in four or five months that things have actually improved. Things have been slowing down, slowing down, slowing down. Um, a little bit better if you're a seller or if you're owning. So again, uh, if, you're, if you're selling anytime soon, you can be a little more ambitious with pricing than you might have thought you could be if you were looking at these numbers in July. So. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Again, I'm Craig Duran with the Duran Group over at Berkshire Hathaway Home Services. Thanks for watching.